Hello, today we are going to talk about the demonic Duchess Grimory. She is mostly known as a Goetic spirit. She rules 26 legions of spirits and is mostly known for love, magic, and prophecy. However, my experience with her is a little bit different, and this clip will describe that exact experience. So, this video is a part of the three videos dedicated to Grimory and. Uh, that in this one I will tell you my experience with the entity without describing any evocation techniques or anything because I think I need a little bit more time in research to discuss evoking her for beginners and for people who follow my channel since it is necessary for me to how can I say Study things really deeply before I publish anything to you. So, I summoned Grimory, I think, twice. Today was the third time, and my first encounter with Grimory was actually through reading of the Goetia, but I never summoned the spirit until I requested an astrological demon reading from Bill Duvendak. Now, if you don't know, Bill Duvendak is a relatively famous magician in the left hand path community associated with the Become a Living God. I really recommend his services to people because he knows what he's doing. And he really studies astrology deeply and well. So he recommended me three demons to work with according to my astrological chance chart. And office of those demons seem to be exactly the thing I need in my life in general. I need to kind of start working with those demons and those spirits in order to fix my life. It is my personal opinion that through omitting those demons I made a big mistake because those demons really covered the areas I need improved. And today I need to... Thank Bill Duvendak, as well as discuss my experiences with Grammary. So, Grammary was one of the entities recommended uh, to me in this reading. And specifically, Grammary was assigned in this astrological reading by Bill Duvendak as entity which will be really helpful in managing and navigating my relationship with the outside world. Now, what impressed me here is that Bill told me this uh, without actually knowing the details of my life. And this reading by Bill Duvendak, this astrological reading he did for me, uh, was extremely accurate because the area of magic and life I have the biggest difficulty is technically romantic relationship with people. Uh, and Grammary is exactly, is exactly the spirit which covers exactly that area. But when Bill did the reading, he didn't know that it's the case. And he did extremely accurate reading anyway. So I am still to this day impressed by what Bill was capable to do in the reading, by the way. But let's return to my experience with Grammary. I awoke Grammary thrice, as I said previously. First was when I did a pathworking to summon all of the 72 demons of the Goetia in order to establish contact. Of course, Grammary is part of the Goetia. And uh, what is truly interesting is that Grammary kind of made a large impression on me. And it was really interesting experience and in this video what i will say is that i immediately noticed even during that first evocation that grammary is connected to the gen and genic current now for those who don't know about the gen and what is the difference between jinn and shadim or shadi or demons I kind of explained that in previous videos of mine, but 
even during that first evocation, I kind of noticed the connection between Grimory and Jin. Uh, that first evocation wasn't really something spectacular. Uh, there is nothing memorable there outside of that specific notion. It was just my working with uh, Grimory, my introduction to the entity. So, what else? The second invocation was me working with the Grimory to open my sacral energy center, a uh, better, which is the energy center corresponding to sexuality, by the way. And Grimory did it really well. It was kind of intense, energetic experience. Uh, classical chakra opening, nothing special. However, the third experience with Grimory is the one which was the most intense, which is the ritual I actually performed today, by the way. So today I went outside and I summoned Grimory and how I did it is I visualized the ball of the black light above my head, uh, used that technology to raise the sacred space and then called Grimory using the end. You can use the variation of the ends I present on this channel, but you can also use the money can from S. Connolly. Both of those are effective, by the way. And uh, what came to me was a really female presence, and the energy was the mix between darkness and fire. So kind of feminine mix between pure darkness energy and pure fire energy with the strong genic component to the essence. So what I then did is when energy started appearing, I kind of focused uh, on traditional depiction of Grimory in Grimoires. But for whatever reason, I was unable to focus on that traditional depiction Instead, spirit formed as woman, dressed in black Arabic Middle Eastern clothing, riding a dromedary. And she had the eyes made of pure flame. And entire face was covered, I could only see the eyes. And uh, attire was some form of a royal attire, and he wore a black scepter. But... The dress was black and the black hijab covered entirety of her face. But the presence was extremely friendly and empowering. And she kind of wanted me and wants me to work with her long term. Now, I don't know, can I really afford to work with her long term? Or should I only do a small path working to finish some things I need? But she kind of really told me that she explicitly wants a long-term spiritual relationship and that she wants to take the role she was shown uh, and kind of she wants to take that role from my uh, astrological chant uh, chart. She wants to be the entity which guides my relationship with the outside world. And that's kind of something... I don't know do I want to do this. But at the same time, Grammarie was extremely friendly and empowering. And I think there is much more to her than what is written in the Lesser Key of Solomon. Because let me give you a hint. So when I summoned Grammarie... What I saw, what's interesting is, I saw two serpents, two black serpents, uh, around Grimory's dromedary. And I also saw some form of a weird black light or smoke radiating from her sector. And I think it has really deep meaning. Now, from what I know, I will discuss a little bit of Grimory's origin, however, I need to give a disclaimer. I need to give a disclaimer here. Uh, the information I'm going to give you is 
not necessarily verifiable in outside sources because I am not really s familiar with a lot of sources about the jinn in the original Arabic language and I studied a lot about demons from academic point of view but in general grimory doesn't fit traditional uh, description of a demon actually most of the goetia doesn't fit traditional description of a demon uh, from my personal experience goetic spirits are mostly uh, jinn uh, and some of them have uh, demonic uh, aka shademic components but many of them are actually jinns uh, grammary is mix between the jinn and a demon now from what i know from many many evocations of different jinn especially the high ranking ones when you see a jinn manifesting to you and you see a lot of snakes around the jinn astrally uh, what it means that you are is that you are talking to the jinn of the high birth is that you are talking to the genic nobility so what Grimory wanted to show me in this evocation is she wanted to show me hey I am not just some footnote in the Goetia I am actually genic nobility uh, and I actually have much more to teach and to give than what is given in the Solomonic description and if we look how Solomonic spirits aka Goetic spirits behave their behavior doesn't fit in traditional description of demonic entity they seem to be spirits related to the underworld each of them kind of has its own domain they are not part of some super elaborate demonic hierarchy with some great emperor at the top they s each of them seem to have their own domains they all part are part of the underworld but they are from my personal experience uh, pretty much independent from any form of hierarchy we understand and each of the goetic entities or i will call them goetic spirits in the case of grammary she is a mix of demon and jinn but i will call her jinn because i am more comfortable with calling her a jinn so each of those spirits like grammary is kind of its own thing and the fact that somebody registered all of the 72 entities uh, in one cluster in one book it doesn't mean that they necessarily like each other or that they are uh, compatible with each other as much as we think i think each of those gothic spirits should be approached individually and we shouldn't make a mistake of kind of lapping them all in the same cluster because uh, really i worked with a lot of gothic spirits for a time i have really good relationship with paimon I worked with Bjorn for a time, I worked with Marbas for a time, I worked with Tashmadai for a time, I worked with Bile, I worked with Gremory a little bit, and I worked with Orias. And what I can say is that each of those spirits is kind of his own separate entity and his own separate thing and uh, for example energy of orias is pretty different from the energy of grammary and energy of marbas is completely different animal and what i also want to say is that rank given in the book shouldn't matter when you choose spirit who you want to work with so Majority of people work with King Paimon and start with King Paimon uh, not because they like arts and sciences and not because they 
like uh, what Paimon teaches, they start working with Paimon because they see King Paimon in a title, you know? Or they hear from somebody else that that entity is good for working with. But reality is, yeah, all of those gens and demons, they have some form of a hierarchy or society. That's true. And Paimon is more powerful than Gremory, from my personal experience. That's also true. But here is the thing. Uh, gens and demons and all of those ktonic and celestial spirits, whatever you want to summon, they all live in invisible world. And here is the thing, no matter how full of himself some of magicians are, we are kind of most of the time blindfolded regarding the spiritual world. There is a whale. So nobody really knows what's the hierarchy of the gens, or demons, or fairies, or any other type of so, since we cannot know the hierarchy, and the reason why you have zillion different hierarchies is people got information from other side of the whale and they interpreted it differently, and that's the reason why you have zillion hierarchies. And they don't have any degree of compatibility with each other. So, I wouldn't rely necessarily on hierarchies instead open your astral senses look at the office of the spirits and the sigil of the spirits and then try summoning them and building working relationship with them that will take time and effort uh, the fact that Gremory is kind to majority of people she is working with and the fact that she is friendly to majority of people she is working with doesn't mean that you can approach her without any preparation and expect to have some form of a crazy result. Uh, magic is the science, it is the craft, it demands a lot of effort. And uh, thank you for your time. This was introductory video on Grimory, which describes my thoughts and experiences with the entity. And I will keep you guys updated about how this path working goes. Uh, tell me, do you want this video format to continue? This is kind of more relaxed blog type of a video. Tell me, do you like this? Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.